like I haven't done a lot of talking in this video, and it's probably because I haven't. I've been working a lot in this video, and the reason I've just been working and not talking is because I have fans running almost all the time, except for right now. And if I talk or let the audio go, as you've probably seen already, it doesn't sound very good with all those fans running. And I'm not going to just not run the fans for the camera because it gets very, very warm in here. I don't really want to sweat that much. So the fans are running. I'm not talking. I'm just working and filming and probably, hopefully, at this point, I put a lot of music over it. I don't know. But anyway, let's get back to the video. Okay, so everything's cut and routed and squared. It's amazing, it's beautiful, everything fits actually really well, which I'm really surprised about and I'm very, very happy about. But now we're gonna to try to figure out how to get these pins actually into the post because these things are gonna to have to go in there, but all of these are kind of loose. I really don't like how loose they are. It's very bad, actually. But we're gonna put these in, and I saw this trick from another guy on YouTube. So I'll drill it in until I'm touching the post, the tenon on this post, and then I'll just scrape the surface and then we're gonna move the hole down a little bit. We'll pull this post out, we'll drill it separately and we'll drill it maybe about a sixteenth, probably less, less than sixteenth off downwards. So then, or actually upwards, yes, upwards. <laughs> I'm thinking backwards because it's upside down. But So we'll put it in and then the hole will be a little bit higher and we'll do, then we'll drill it all the way through from the back. So we'll pound this thing in and then we'll pull that post down so it's incredibly tight on that surface and hopefully won't move. One and three quarters of an inch. One inch down. And we're gonna save ourselves some time and use a spade bit. Now, how far should I go with this? An inch. I'm gonna press it in a little bit. Just mark it a little bit better. That looks pretty good. I have to decide if I'm going to assemble this entire thing with glue and then put my small pins in to hold on all these small mortise and, mortise and tendons or dry fit the entire thing, drill all of them, and then assemble it. I don't really see much point in that. I think I'm going to assemble the entire thing with glue and then I'll do the small stuff. I also want to drill for this back space there. How's your focus doing? Good. Pretty good. Because this is going to be kind of floppy on the back if I don't drill it. So I'm going to drill for pins. I hope I get everything lined up without doing this properly. Number seven, going in F to E. I might not put glue on the surface just so I don't have that even a chance of getting glue on the surface. First one going in and let's hope there's something in the hole. But if not, I'll just cut it and it'll be okay. 
Yeah. Again, so you cut it. There we go. I gotta do both sides at work. Wow, this is going to be fun. Okay. I had to do something wrong on the first try, right? That's just kind of a no-brainer. This should be easy, actually. Just needs to go like this. Okay, so now I'm going to glue this up. I did not glue these tendons in when I stuck it in because it kind of fell in there. I didn't think about it. I just popped it in. I don't think it matters. I don't think I'm going to glue this side because like, I can. I don't think I'm going to. I don't think it needs it. This thing's already so strong. When I put pins in there, it's not going anywhere. And then we'll just put the pins in and we'll be pretty much done except for drawers and shelves and, you know, finishes and everything. <laughs> I did get poplar dolls because I want them to kind of be able to squish in there a little bit more than oak would and also a lot cheaper. Probably haven't noticed because a lot of this stuff has been, um, you just can't tell, but I've been starting on the back for most of this stuff because just in case something goes wrong, I'd rather have it go wrong on the back instead of the front. All right, let's see if this works. Oh, we hit the back. Beautiful. Honestly, the glue is probably kind of uh, not needed on this. Oh. Glue the hole, glue the hole. That <laughs> cracked it. So I just found something out that's really, really bad. Somehow, and I honestly have no idea how, this is two and three quarters to the bottom of this. It is two and a uh, five eighths to the bottom of this. That is an eighth inch difference. This is cocked, and you can visibly see that it is cocked. This is a very interesting phenomenon. The posts are straight, but it is not square by perhaps 30, 30 seconds of an inch. It's worse on this side, almost. Perfect. Parallel, square on the bottom. Well, of course it's not square up here. There's no way I can move it at this point. There's no way this thing's coming apart with the amount of glue, how tight the joints were. It's not coming apart. So I'm going to live with this forever. Okay, so I think the best way to do these drawers is probably going to be to make a drawer that fits and looks good, and then figure out how to hold it up.
put glue on the inside here. Just flip them up. And that's a lot more glue than I needed on that particular joint. Perfect. I don't know if you can hear me out of the lawnmower, but I'm going to glue these on. I don't think I'm going to use screws. I think I'm just going to clamp it and it'll probably be okay. So I'm going to break my creed and do some metal fastener. Don't try this at home, okay? Just don't. So you remember that piece of wood we started with? It's about this long, about this thick, and then we get this out of it because I split it and I cut it. And I think we're gonna be able to get easily as much as I need out of it. Big deal for me, but. Okay, I finally got it fitted. It will fit. I just don't want to push it in because I don't want to pull it out. I don't think we're going to do a handle. That will be boring. So what we're going to do is drill a hole so I can stick my hand under and stick my finger in the hole. <laughs> like that. I have to fix that. Quite perfect. Just right. Beautiful. So I have an idea for how to move this thing down without any help. Probably a bad idea to even try because I could just wait for someone else to help me. But I'm going to try it. Take it down to sit it on a bench. Um, this is a really bad idea, isn't it? First time I've actually seen it down here. Yes, I'm barefoot. Get over it. It's actually in really rough shape in places, so I think it could definitely do with the little hand planer, the electric one, and run over it, the whole thing, make it nice and flat, get rid of these router lines. Well, that worked like really, really well. Never told. It looks pretty good. That's a monument to my stupidity right there. Anyway, overall, it looks really nice and smooth. I think I'm gonna orbital sand now. I think, yeah, I'm gonna orbital sand. I wish you could feel this right now because it feels really good. It's only at 320 right now. I think I'm going to leave it at 320 because it's spruce. It's 2x4s and it's not that hard. So even if I went up to 3,000 grit, it wouldn't really matter because as soon as you touch it with anything, it's not going to be that anymore. Hey, if anyone knows anyone that works for SC Johnson, if you want to sponsor me, I'd be happy to talk about your product. Get a little bit of color. Not bad. 
As much as I love Pace Wax, there is a close second. Thompson's Water Seal is very, very good oil. It goes on and soaks in so deep. It's an exterior finish. I use it on knife handles. I use it on indoor stuff all the time. It's just a really good all-around oil. It's also very cheap. The top's gonna be SC Johnson, and the bottom's gonna be Thompson. It's not too bad for, you know, considering this entire thing's built out of framing lumber, it's actually looking pretty good, I'd say. Okay, I think we're ready to move this thing into place. It needs to go in line with the stud, and the concrete is very uneven. Those feet look okay. Okay, I need to clean that up a little bit. You know, it's really gonna hurt, but I am going to mount this vise on that bench. It's so beautiful right now. I don't want to hurt it, though. Look at it. It's just like, oh, it's so shiny. I need the vise. I like the vise mounted, so I'm going to mount the vise. Pretty cool. I just got to finish this thing with two handles, and then I'll be done with this hour-long video.